What is up, Spikes? We're back. Me, Elliot. Him. Me. Alex. <laughs> Jim. And special guest, Lua Stardust from the Scry Babies. And we're here in the uh, Spike Feeders World headquarters today to play some CEDH. I'm an honorary Spike. You are. Yeah. Like, for, for the day, for the mm -hmm. week, you know, however long I mean, you'll, we, you'll have us. We'll do a trade. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a family, Alex. <laughs> I don't know if we can afford We We don't have any first rounders for next year, so. Oh, yeah, right. true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, I am Elliot. Did I say that already? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I'm playing Niv Mizzet Perun. Uh, this is Shauna Gilly's list. Uh, and when I uh, fail miserably, I hope you're not disappointed in me. Um, I'm going to try to do curiosity things because Niv Mizzet Perun kills people with that card. Hmm. Well, I hope not to be a cat today, and my name's Alex, because I'm playing Paco and Haldan. I've got the good, good woofy boy. He's going to go out there, get some fetch counters by stealing things off everyone else's decks, and then we'll have Haldan show up, and he'll try to cast them. If we work out, great. We probably win through combat damage, and if it doesn't work out, we'll cry, because it didn't work out through combat damage. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Jim, Minsk, that's what I'm playing today. Uh, this is a Protein Hulk list. Uh, it, uh, it does Protein Hulk things. It's like a... Uh, kind of like a multi-hulk line kind of thing. Uh, the deck really heavily relies on Academy Rector and Pattern of Rebirth uh, to get Hulk into play, uh, and then uses Minsk as a sack outlet. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping to do today. You got a big mm -hmm. hamster. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Lua, I'm playing Winota. This is a shock to absolutely nobody. I am lover, hater. She's got a lot of hate bears. We're hoping for goblins. We're hoping for turn one, turn two Winota just to blast out the board and take over the Spike Feeders headquarters. Yeah, yes. uh, this is for pink slips. Yeah, we're playing yep. for keeps. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, if I lose, I have to leave? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right, I can see. <laughs> perfect. Uh, I am going first, so I'm going Whoa. to start us off here. Oh. Someone might say they have a pregame action. Ooh. Is that someone you? It Slow is down. me. Okay. Cowboy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get rid of a uh, land. That's what I have to do, right? A any card. Any card. Oh, okay. It could be any card, but it's going to still be a land. Okay. What if Foothill's down? Yeah. All right. Now, may I draw a card yes, for my turn? My turn one is not going to be very exciting. Uh, I'm just going to play this tapped Teleria West. Ooh, I didn't know that was Pass. a land. It is. Hmm. It's a tutor for Jeweled Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, we're going to start off with a Windswept Heath. Cracked, going to 39. Mm -hmm. We'll find a tropical island. We'll tap drop to play Bop. Ooh, dropping and bopping <laughs> all day long. Uh, Barbara Ann? Anyway, um, that's a Mana Crypt and pass the turn. Ooh, that's a good turn one. <laughs> wow. I'm not mad about it. That's oh. a very good turn one. Draw a card. Um, I kept a really bad hand. Oh, okay. Um, I am going to play this Chrome Mox. That's not bad. And he's not it playing is... a land First, it is, is weird. pretty bad. Imprint where it's uh, I am going to imprint Elvish Mystic. Oh, that, that's not so. Elvish. Taps for green. Okay. Then I'm going to tap it and cast a Lana War Elves, <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A we see. Fun one. We see. That's pretty great. I like that a lot. Okay. All right, besties. Camera souls choosing humans. Uh oh. Disaster. Uh, I would like to also <laughs> do a Chromox. Uh. Sorry, not artifact, not land card. We will choose this path to exile. Mm -hmm. Path down. So it will be white. Um, I would like to also play a jeweled lotus. We're in danger. We are um, in danger. Huh. Don't you dare. <laughs> okay, you got a Winota. <laughs> Winota. You know what is scary though is a loyal apprentice. Oh, that's yeah, a good one. That's pretty good. Uh, in response to loyal no, apprentice. No, Alex, let me have <laughs> in response to Loyal Apprentice. Force. No! Wins. Yeah, yeah, you get that. 38. I really, pounds. really wanted this to happen, okay? Uh, that was, that's, that's a, a nasty it turn. Was, it was really good, and you could have just let it happen. <laughs> the most dirt nasty sequence in... Yeah. Yep. Um, I would have really liked that. I can't do anything else, so I will pass. Okay, I will untap. Uh, I will draw for turn. You're welcome the rest of the table. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Who uh, said I was even going to go that way? Who said I was even true? I mean, I don't feel great. There's still a turn one Winota yeah. coming up with a turn two Paco. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm not doing anything yeah. with haste, really. Okay. Uh, 
I've got a wooded foothills and I'm gonna crack it going to 39. Okay. Off of this wooded foothills, I'm going to get a volcanic island, mm -hmm. uh, notably taps for red, because I'm going to dash this ragavan, nimble pilfer. He baited me. Yeah, you thought so. I was so. expecting the dark side. Mm -hmm. You thought so. Uh, any effects to my dashy boy? You dashing. It. Alex. Ouch. 36. Uh, uh, trigger. After I saved your life, even. Uh, I'm going to get a treasure. Nope. <laughs> oh. Hmm. That's, yeah. Hmm. Now, I'm not going to give you your force of will back. Oh, you could, though. Until end of turn, you may cast. Yeah, so I could pay. I could pay two Phyrexian. That's cheap. I don't think that I want to, though. <laughs> like, you have what if put I'll the wood of it? No, <laughs> definitely not the loyal apprentice. Yeah. Alex, okay, this this one. can stay exiled forever. Aww. Go ahead, Alex. This will go back to my hand. Okay. Uh, okay, hear me out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could time lock Lua by uh, putting the jeweled lotus on top, and then she's not going to draw something that will trigger Winota. Winota's oh, already out. The Winota is already out. Yeah, but we could also just have treasure. <laughs> it does mean that we need now two pieces of removal for Winota. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, but also Winona less likely to be threatening. True. You don't know what's in my hand yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. It could be something very good. Yeah. It could even be a boat. Or it could be a land. It could even be a second jeweled load. I'm, I'm going to leave it. Okay. okay. I'm going to leave it. Okay. I'm making the call. Go Good ahead. Call. <laughs> wait, wait to be the decider. Thanks. Okay. Uh, we're going to go odds damage. Oh, that's a game loss. Be more careful. <laughs> no damage. No damage. <laughs> now we're going to go Ancient Doom, but... Yeah. Take two. Cast Paco. 34. 34. I got no response to Paco. The funny part is, is Jeweled Lotus would have just come to me. Would have been great. True. Yep. Good thing you didn't do that. Because it's yeah. not hard. He would have ripped it off the top. But he would have oh, to cast Hold On. Yeah. 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 Got it, got it, got it. Anyway, we both know that uh, Winota's not going to block. So we're attacking Lua. Yeah. Trigger, Trigger Paco. Trigger Paco. Ooh, cyclonic rift. You got two? Two. No, it's got good drink. I didn't want this card anyways. It's okay. I can't use it either. I'm actually kind of sad about Gilded Drake. That would have been a great solution to Winota. Uh -huh. well, she's literally not doing anything because you killed my loyal apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> it is okay. It's true. So five coming at Laura? Yeah, I will take that. 35. Five Paco damage. I got it. Uh, that's it. That's all, past turn. Right. I'll untap, draw a card. This is a disaster. <laughs> I'm gonna tap two and cast a bloom tender. Ooh. And then it taps I'm for green. Gonna pass. Ooh. All right. Jim. He he likes to live his life dangerously. <laughs> Good old no lands Le Pay. <laughs> so I will say it was a scalding turn. Uh, oh. it was a land, like I said. Mm, okay. Um, oh, wow. okay. I will crack it to go get a plateau. Sounds good. I got this plateau mm -hmm. that I'll put for my land for turn. And then everybody's bestie, a thorn of amethyst. Ooh. So not future spells will cost one more. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alex, just mm -hmm. to return the favor for yeah. commander damage for Winota for you. Seems great. 30. Okay. 30 for Alex. The one out of damage might matter. You never I was know. Like, we add Nos, and then I was like, never mind. Nobody's <laughs> playing. Yeah, yeah. no, no black decks at the table. Uh, notably, I have zero cards in hand, and I will pass the turn. Okay, interesting. I will untap. Uh, I need to remember that this is a treasure. Uh, draw for my turn. You can kind of tell because it's shiny. I can't see it. Oh. Did you ever yeah. think that you were a treasure? Element? You're shiny boy. Thanks. <laughs> Um, the real Bitcoin was the... <laughs> the real Bitcoin was the Elliot. <laughs> That's a sure. <laughs> I'm going to play an Arid Mesa for my turn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to crack it, going to 38. I'm going to get a basic mountain. Uh, and then I'm going to cast uh, a card that I personally haven't seen in, in a while. But, uh, you know, a, a fan favorite, I'm sure. Spellskite. Ooh, interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've seen this card so much lately, I'm like, yeah, we love it. Yeah, it's a cool card. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, any effects? Nope. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to also cast a Raghavan. Ooh, Nimble cast. Pilfer. Yeah, not dashing it with my treasure. Okay. Um, and that is my turn. Okay. We're going to untap. We're going to upkeep. In our upkeep, we're going to odds damage. 
No damage. Never punished. Never punished. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even spike feeder dice this time. Well, with this spell skite out, I'm going to cast a braid for three using mana crypt and birds. Using destroy target artifact, Thorn of Amethyst. Oh. Ah. Jim, don't you really love this card? It's so helpful. It's actually super helpful for me, but I have uh, all green mana. It is not helpful for me, so I will not pay uh, either my treasure or two life to redirect it to the spell sky. All right. Yeah. All right. Braid to the yard. Then we'll pay two life and a blue. Go to 28. Oh, gosh. What happened to my life total? Down, 20? down in an earlier round. Shogo, we're going down swinging. I'm going to cast this Wooded Foothills. Oh, no, you're going to cast Haldon. Well, and yeah. then you're going to play the Wooded Foothills. That's correct. You're not Stephen Green. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's the only one. It's true. Then I'll crack this Wooded Foothills and give it back to Jim. Oh, thank you. 1 to 27. We'll get a Volcanic Island off the search. And we're going to move to attacks. And you know what that means. We're going to attack Jim. Well, yes! Oh. <laughs> Trigger. 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 Wow. Oh, Four. Four. Uh, three. Three this time. Go to... Eight. Uh-huh. Uh, eight coming at you, Jimbo. Yeah, I got no bucks. 32. 32. Eight palco. Pal can. Blank. What's this card's name? Are you okay? No. <laughs> okay. Cool, man. Uh, I will uh, cast Lotus Petal using Paco. That one you can. Yeah, that one you can cast. Can I change the target of the resolving lotus petal to my board? In, in fact, yes. You Perfect. <laughs> what are you, a judge or something? Yeah. Yes. Well, oh, I don't okay. make the rules. No. I will then <laughs> cast Enlightened Tutor. Uh, you need a white for that. No, I don't. Any on yours? You don't. Off of Jim's Enlightened Tutor, I will fetch a Mystic Remora to the top of my library. Okay. And pass the turn. Okay. Right. I'll untap. Draw a card. And I'm going to pass the turn. Oof. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. What you got for us, Lua? How big is? One four. Can't block it. Well, could block. Shouldn't block. Probably won't. Ought not to. Ought not to. One out of four rounds. Okay. Okay. 23. 23. By eight. Eight. One out of damage. Okay. Um, I will pass the turn. Wow. I did not think this would go this well for me. Mm -hmm. This is sweet. Uh, I'm I'm sitting pretty. I'll draw for turn. You're sitting. I'm sitting pretty, Alex. Let me tell you that much for free. I'm gonna play this City of Brass. Uh oh. Mm. I'm gonna play this Jeweled Lotus. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. Thriving. Actually, Thoughts, thriving. questions, concerns. Several, but go. Yeah. Uh, one blue, two. M Matt's hard. Mm. Oh no! I have to take a damage. Okay. That's worse. <laughs> Red, red, red. Treasure. One damage. 37. I mean, you didn't have to. Three blue off of the Jeweled Lotus. Uh, I'd like to cast a Niv-Mizzet, comma, Perun. Oh no, that's his commander. This spell can't be countered. I didn't know it said that. <laughs> <laughs> that card's really good. Yep. Uh, no response. Yeah, oh, you effects, got it. effects, effects, okay. Uh, combat. Lua. Please take two. Mm -hmm. 32. I will make a second treasure token. And... You don't even want that. <laughs> yeah, but I can <laughs> play it, so I will. Yep. <laughs> That's a blocker, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in my second main phase... Are you going to cast an instant treasure? I might. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to crack two treasures. And tap this Teleria West to cast a Time Twister. Oh, no, 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 no. Trigger niv Mizzet Perun. Interesting. Do I care about this? I have one card in hand. How... how Alex has priority first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pass priority. Alex is looking like he went, ain't doing nothing. Love you. But <laughs> yeah. you're like, you're like, mm, I don't care. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. I'm going to... Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Uh oh. Ooh. To Lightning Bolt, your Birds of Paradise. Uh, that As also triggers Niv Mizzet. Yeah, that's fine. So I will draw a card for the Lightning Bolt, uh, which will trigger Niv Mizzet, and I will deal one to. I'll shoot Jim's face. 
Okay. There you go, Alex. You're we welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Then I've got a visit trigger for a time twister cat. Time twister, Niv trigger will deal one damage to Paco. Uh. Then time twister resolving. Yeah. Okay. I guess we did it in the wrong order. We should pick the targets <laughs> first, but time twister resolves. Yeah. Off of this time twister, I have drawn, well, everybody has drawn a grip of seven new cards, and I have seven Niv Mizzet triggers. I'm going to point them all directly at the dog. At the dog? Mm hmm. Turns out there aren't cards with still, huh? Yeah, turns out. Uh, it's all right. Uh, then, I would like to continue to do things because, you know, what? why else am I here? Uh, I'm going to just kill dogs. True. I'm going to play this Mox Diamond. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Uh, it'll discard this Steam Vents. Oh, it doesn't exile it. Uh, and after the Mox Diamond, I'm good. I'm just going to pass the turn. Oh. Okay. We'll untap, upkeep. We're going to roll odds. Punished. 20. Ah, 20 for 20. Alex. It's okay. Life totals, resource, blah, 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 blah. True. True, true, true. And we'll draw a card. Play a snow covered forest. We'll sacrifice Elliot's Lotus Petal. Oh, my Lotus Petal. Oh. <laughs> That's an upgrade. It is. A glow up. Strictly. <laughs> We're going to tap for red, float a couple extra for an abraid targeting Spellskite. Again. Mm. That's funny. Uh, there is a Niv Mizzet trigger off that. I would like to draw a card. Approved. I will draw a card. That means I will deal one damage to something. It will be... Spellskite. <laughs> Spellskite. No. Okay. Sure. It'll be Alex's face. 19. Uh, no further effects to a braid. Okay. Spellskite down. Spellskite down. So we got one mana floating. Take two for three, four, five. Whoa. Six, seven. Cyclonic Rift overloaded. What? Interesting. Oh, uh, that will trigger Niv Mizzet Perun. Yeah. Uh, I will draw a card. Fun. Uh, that will deal one damage to Bloom Tender. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right. Okay, Bloom Tender down. down. Uh, still in response to the Cyclonic Rift, I'm going to Force of Negation. Pitching this Chain of Vapor, which will trigger Niv Mizzet Perun. Mm -hmm. I will draw a card. Uh, that will ping Alex's face. 16. 16? Uh, 18? I drew it 18. Oh, uh, the Ancient Chain. Uh, right. yeah, 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16. Apparently can't do uh, this. And I will exile my own Cyclonic Rift. <laughs> Tragic. That's so funny. <laughs> Hmm. Pass the turn. Um. Yeah. I will draw card. Uh, Brutal that you had counterspell back. I'm gonna play a Temple Garden Alex. Untapped. Twenty nine. Then I'm gonna play this Sol Ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. And. I am going to cast with one colorless floating, uh, Servi de Plusat. Oh, that's a survival of the fittest. I was like, what the hell? For those of you who only speak English. <laughs> um, then that's it for me. I'll pass. Great. Everything's so good. I love it. So good. So fun. So fun. So, so cool. fresh. Sniv Mizzet is problematic. Yes, it is. Says who? Me. I think it's really good for me. Just generations it's of more. cute that you think that. So is Niv but... um, instant or sorcery zone? Yes. Okay, got it. So those are bad. <laughs> well, not again, not for me. I'd like you to cast lots of them. Comment. Mm -hmm. Swinging at Alex. <laughs> Come yeah. on, Alex. Yeah. 12. 12. I want to see if we can get to uh, Winota combat. Yeah, yeah. He, well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, he's twelve life, twelve Winota damage. So yeah. he dies to double. <laughs> Just give you uh, Bofa. Bofa. Yeah. Okay, um, then we will. Bofa. I don't want to make this game be annoying, but it's gonna be a little annoying. So sorry. I'm gonna put out a Sanctum Prelate, uh, choosing Ooh. two. Uh, Ooh. 
You can you can respond. Yeah. yeah. So sanctum prelate. Sanctum prelate. Um, Elliot. No effects. No effects. Yeah, I think I'm also good with sanctum prelate. Okay. okay. Two. Choose I'm going to put a die in it so two. that everybody knows that it is the number sure. two. Okay. Two. Is Can't cast one. this spell. Got it. Because then I will be playing a deafening silence. That one is more sad for me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. My all you did was give me <laughs> sad pieces with the time blister. Yeah. Fair. Um. Uh-huh. So yeah, that's what I would like to cast. And then uh, if that's resolved, that will be it for me and I will pass the turn. Okay. Mm. Uh, I will untap. Mm-hmm. I will draw for turn. Mm. Uh, I will play an ancient tomb of my own Ooh. Uh, for land for turn. I like that movie. Ancient tomb of my own? Yeah, it's got uh, Gina Davis yep. and Tom Hanks. I. Hateful Nick, people. Nick Cage. <laughs> I'm, gonna, uh, Nick Cage. I'm gonna lose two life to my ancient tomb. Go to 35. And just just a little sad about this deafening silence. I'm going to cast an Imperial Recruiter. Ooh. Okay. Effects of X effects. You got it. I think so. Off of this Imperial Recruiter, uh, I'm gonna put a tandem lookout into my hand. Oh. And uh, everything's fine. We definitely knew this the whole time. Um, Deafening Silence says Mm -hmm. non-creature. So I'm going to try to go for it. I'm going to try to cast this tandem lookout. Okay. Pairing with Ragavan, right? Uh, If it resolves, it's going to pair with (laughs) Phyrexian. I'd like to pair it with my commander, Niv-Mizzet Perun. Pass. Yeah, you got it. Uh, No. Solitude. Oh, yeah. (gasps) That's not an instant sorcery spell. That's a good Uh, one. With pitching this. True. Um, so my options, we can kill Niv, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which seems pretty good. I think it is correct. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't be- think I ever get to recast but it. But if you recast Niv, then it so- you can still soul bomb, which is fine, but yes, right. Niv is the correct hit. So I'm yeah, harder to recast. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Exiled. You do gain life equal to its power, though. Ooh, five whole life? I'll go back to 40? What? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I hate it. Everybody's been punching me. <laughs> it's just because I, I think it'll be fun for one little commander damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, sad for me, but you know, not for the rest of the if table, it, I suppose. If it makes you feel better, you did this with the time poster. Oh, yeah. it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to combat. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jim. Take two. 27. Mom, make yourself a treasure and you get a greater Garganon. <laughs> So this is going to stay exiled. Yeah, we, we're not doing anything with that, but at least I get a treasure, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, Imperial Recruiter was my card. Um, yeah, I'll just pass the turn. Uh, Mana Crypt Trigger. Ooh. That's Three. a one. Yeah. Victory. Going to nine. Aw, now Lua can't <laughs> kill him with... Uh, with I could get command. exactly killed. Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to use Spire Garden. It's our own Spire Garden. Uh, as our land for turn via Haldan. We'll tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For Paco. Mm-hmm. Paco coming back is tragic. I have no effects on Paco. No effects. All righty. With uh, Paco back on the field, we're going to go straight to combat. Mm-hmm. And that combat says, Elliot, we're attacking you. Trigger. Trigger. Oh, well, only two. Mm-hmm. Just just a combat celebrant. Who needed that? Yeah, who needed that anyway, right? Uh, so it's a five now? Yeah. Mm, sad. Yeah. Uh, I will chump with Lua's Phyrexian Walker. Rude. Yeah, yeah, isn't, isn't it? <laughs> there, there you go. Uh, graveyard or Exile? Uh, graveyard. Graveyard, yeah. Cool. It matters. We'll play one. Four Birds of Paradise. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a pretty good card. It's not a 7th edition foil Birds of Paradise, right. but we'll pass. In your end step, I'd like to fold it. That would be... <laughs> um, so but, but, display it to me, please. I'm going to... Uh, in your end step, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. activate Survival of the Fittest. Sure. This pitching <laughs> Skyclave Apparition. Off the Survival, I'm getting Academy Rector to hand. Rector? <laughs> <laughs> then... One. Uh, I would like to untap, mm-hmm. draw a card, play this Horizon Canopy as my land for turn. Mm-hmm. Then 
Still without a red source. If this was a red source, I might have the game here. Whoa. Which is an aggressive thing to say, I realize. <laughs> I'm going to uh, pay a life mm -hmm. uh, to tap the horizon canopy. Okay, mm -hmm. 26. Uh, that's going to be for a white. Okay. Uh, I will cast the Academy Rector. Yes. Good. Rector. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Okay. Interesting. On tap. Yeah, this game has gotten very strange. It's very, uh, everybody's like stressed. Just some marsh flats. Mm. That's if okay. you attack me with it, I'll block. Did you, no, don't do it. Don't. The rector. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I was like, what do you mean? Why are you so <laughs> Alex, my bestie. You know what? For, for you, Lua, I'll just take it. You can take Whoa. it? To five? Yeah, to five. Five life. 17 Winota damage. <gasps> what you 17? Are you drunk? Okay, 16. <laughs> I was like, wait. <sighs> we're getting closer every moment. <laughs> yep. Um, I can't play anything, so I'm gonna pass. Okay. Uh, I will untap. I will draw for my turn. I'm going to play this gemstone caverns as a colorless source that will be colorless forever. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, sack a treasure. I'm going to pay three life in order to do this and cast yeah. Niv Mizzet. Elliot at 37. Uh, uh, any, oh, it can't be countered, right? We, we know that one. We learned that last time. Mm -hmm. uh, no effects here. Um, yeah, I'm going to respond. Okay. I will respond to the Niv Mizzet cast right. by casting Silence. Mm hmm. Mm. It's pretty good. Mm, tragic. I have no effects. Okay. I am silenced. I have no further effects to nip, is it? Okay. Uh, ETB, Soulbond, Trigger. They will be best friends for life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a different mechanic. True. That is true. Mm -hmm. um, but then you've got a 2-2. Two -two. You've got blockers, you've got blockers, so the tandem lookout can't get in. I think I just have to pass the turn. Okie dokie, we're gonna roll for mana crypt. Oh no. Show me evens. Yeah. Oh. Now Lua can kill me. Excellent. <laughs> and we'll draw a card. I'm gonna move to combat. We're going to swing Paco over at Elliot. Trigger. Trigger. Three. Three. Three it is. So that's an 8-8 eight, eight coming at you, buddy. All right. I will block with Imperial Recruiter. He sure does die. <laughs> dead guy. <laughs> that guy? He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Well, you know who's not dead? Mm. Mystic Remora. Mm. Oh. Oh. No, it's not anything. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Happens. Pass turn. I'll untap. Draw a card. Tap. Five. Mm -hmm. I'll do it like this so I don't take damage. Nope, can't do that because I need two white. I will take one damage. <laughs> 25. Uh, 25. I'm going to cast Karmic Guide. Oh. Get to oh. back his Skyclay Evaporation. Mm -hmm. Tragic. For me. Yeah. <laughs> Scoops tandem lookout. Effects? Okay. No effects. Okay. Uh, Karmic Guide enters the battlefield. I will target Skyclave Apparition in my graveyard. Okay. No effects. And uh, return it to the battlefield. It'll enter the battlefield and I will target um, tandem lookout with the ETP trigger. Okay. Uh, yeah, no effects. Wait, it's... is it? Does it cost four? Three. Okay. Three. Yeah, you were good. So I get something, right? Yeah, you what exile it, it and then you get a 3-3. Three, three oh, when action. that dies, when though, that right? Yeah, yeah. when oh, the sky climb apparition is so good. It's, really it's crazy. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to pass the turn. Before you do that, oh. I just want to... Um, I'm dumb, guys. Oh, not, but it's non-creature, so I can cast something that is two. 
And it's an archive is a rock. Oh, oh. nice. Yeah. Little buddy. Okay. Okay. Sure. Little buddy, little guy. Just a little pal. He just a little guy. That's a Winota trigger, you know? <clears throat> you don't know that. What do you mean? I do. I guess like maybe not somehow. But... Yeah. It is a Winota trigger. <laughs> I'm gonna cast a recruiter of the guard. That's a Winota trigger. That's a good one. All right. Hell yeah. So off of Recruiter of the Guard, I'm going to get a Goblin Rabble Master to put in my hand. But since I already have this here, I would like to crack my martial arts losing one life mm -hmm. to go get a Plains of some. 31. So using Gemstones, Caverns, or a Red, and tapping these two down, I would like to cast that Goblin Rabble Master that you saw. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. Terrifying. And then I would like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. Making a token. I will make a Goblin. All right, um, so I will swing this at Jim. I'm gonna swing Winona at Alex, <laughs> shocking everybody. And then I'm gonna send, oh, let me pull it up, guys. Uh, Alex's thing is a one four. Mm -hmm. What's a one four? Oh, Paco's? Hold on, Are hold on. Are a one, yeah, four? one four? Yeah. Why did I think he was bigger? Okay, so I will send these two at Alex and this at Jim. Yeah, two Winona triggers. Two Winota triggers. Cool. I'll uh, block hold on. Two Winona triggers. Send, yeah, Paco. I guess it, Alex. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just thinking if I put out the cell with conscripts, if I can take that and then swing this at you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nothing stopping you. Cool. Because yes. then you can't block with it. True. Correct. And you can maybe block with something else if you wanted to. So that's my plan. I would like to take your this thing. Okay. And then, okay. <laughs> and TV, then you got an academy reactor. Oh my gosh, the best thing ever. Okay, and then we've got uh, four going at Jim. And eight going at Alex? Yes. I guess I could have taken that, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, yes, that is the damage. And then okay. uh, this is the Thalio that makes non-creature spells plus one more. So mm -hmm. everybody knows I'll put it with my stacks pieces here. Mm -hmm. um, you took four more Winota damage, putting you at... No. What, eight yeah, is going at Alex? He's dead. Yeah, is anybody blocked? Oh, or I guess you got to block. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I will block uh, Winota with Birds of Paradise, gotcha. and I will block Archivist of Ogma okay. with Haldon. Okay. Sounds so I'll good. take two, go okay. to three. Okay. And die I'm taking two mana crypts. I'm taking four and going to 21. <laughs> okay. Um, You didn't kill Archivist, did you? Or did you? Uh, should not. Uh, no, it's no. a one Okay. Four. I didn't know how yeah. big I was. Sorry, that's my bad. Um, I cannot do anything else, so you will get your stinky card back. Stinky card. And then I will pass. Okay. All right. So uh, now. I want to. Not creature spells are one more to cast. Two. And one more creature. Uh, draw for turn. These are all mm -hmm. just presents for you. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Uh, my non-creature spell for the turn will be this Sensei's Divining Top. Mm -hmm. Would you like to pay four? True. Ooh. You have to also pay one more mana. Um, there is mana. also a Thalia in play. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will at least pay, you know what? <laughs> nice <laughs> six mana Sensei's uh, Divining Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll tap the Ancient Tomb to cast it in the first place. 35? Okay. I will not pay, oh yeah, sorry, going to 35, I will not pay four. So Alex can draw a card with the Mystic Remora. Then I'm going to try to spin my Sensei's Divining Top. I will put them back like this. Mm -hmm. I'm still not attacking anybody. So I will pass the turn. Okay. You could, I mean. We're gonna untap in our upkeep. We're gonna pay for Mystic Remora. Okay. I think you can. I think I think you have some. Mm -hmm. Got some extra mana. Yeah. Uh, mana crypt trigger. Oh, you got it. You got it. I die. You got it. You got it. You got it. I don't oh, die. He lives. <laughs> Whew. He's the boy who lived. <laughs> All right. Well, as they say in hockey, let's go do that hockey. I'm gonna attack Elliot. Trigger. Wow. Ooh. Do you want that? Four of them. Yeah, let's go for wow. two of them. Why not? <laughs> yeah, you get four. That's 12 damage coming in. I will block with Ragavan. You'll block with Ragavan? I will. That's rude. Any effects? I'm gonna cry. Dead guy. <laughs> okay. Dead Ragavan. Dead Ragavan. This is a really cool island, so I'm gonna put it into play using Halden's ability. Okay. Thanks, Elliot. Any time, pal. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Okay. Uh, in your end step, I'm going to activate a Survival of the Fittest, pitching Destiny Spinner. <laughs> Off of Survival, I'm getting this Tinder Wall, oh. putting it into my hand. That hurts. And then I like to untap. You may. I'll draw a card. 
you may also do that. I'm going to tap for green mm -hmm. and cast Tinderwall. Echo on your Karmic Guide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's fair. That uh, Karmic Guide, very dead. Uh, in my main phase, I'd like to cast this Tinderwall. Crazy. Uh, then I'm going to sacrifice the Tinderwall to add two red. Mm -hmm. Then I'd like to uh, tap for a white. Uh, a white and a green. Yep, yep. And cast Minsk, Beloved Ranger. Oh, wait, you search, right? Oh, no, you didn't search. Uh, yes, yeah, off of the survival. I would. Oh. I would have a draw. I'm sorry. And, yeah, draw and gain a life. Oh yeah, right. Life. Sure, sure, sure. Sorry, just in case it matters. Thirty-two. Okay. Thirty-two. Yep. Uh, casting my commander, attempting to with one red floating. Does not matter for me. Good. Yeah. No good, effects. Good. Resolves. Um, ETB make a boot. Um, effects. Oh. What's my effect? What are you looking at me? I'm asking if you. Oh, would like to I thought they were like, "There's something I wore. Don't you remember?" I was like, "No, nope. I don't have anything. I promise." Yeah, nothing. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Submerge. Are you paying one additional for that? Uh, uh, trigger. I have a Niv 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 trigger. Uh, so I will draw a card. Help us. Uh, I have a damage. I'll shoot the goblin token. Maybe okay. matters. Uh, submerged Submerge priority, I guess, is on to the me. stack targeting Minsk, I believe. Or? Uh, mm -hmm. I will take one. Go to 20. Yep. To cast Veil of Summer. Yep. Uh, trigger Niv Mizzet. Trigger Niv Mizzet. Uh, draw a card. Uh, I, I guess I have to pay one additional for that. You do. Right. Uh, I will use my red floating. Perfect. Um, I have another damage trigger. That one will shoot the Thalia, I guess, in case I have some interaction. That's my thoughts. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thalia down. Yes. Veil of Summer. Uh, Veil of Summer. I'm going to spin top. Okay. Stupid meta game. <laughs> uh, put that over here. Sure. Put them back like this. Okay. And I have no effects to the Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer resolves. I will draw a card. Yes. And now you're you and permanence you control, right? Yes. I have okay. hexproof from blue. Uh, so that will not resolve. Uh, the submerged rather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Minsk ETB trigger. Can I make a boo? You may. Boo enters. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would like to activate Minsk targeting Academy Rector X equals zero. Yes, sir. Okay. Academy Rector uh, dies trigger. No effects. Exile it. Off the Academy Rector, I'm getting this pattern of rebirth. Okay. And I think we actually triggered uh, Archivist. Yep. So once you resolve your turn, I get the draw and I gain a life. 33, 33 for Lua. So the pattern of rebirth is going to. Uh, Enter on the Skyclave Apparition. Mm -hmm. uh, then I would like to activate Minsk targeting Skyclave Apparition X equals zero. Yeah, no effects. Resolves. It will die. So it dies. We get two triggers. So you'll actually make your token first. It's sure. a 3 3 illusion. Uh, because the Skyclave Apparition leaves, I get a 3 3 spirit. Cool. Uh, dies trigger, uh, pattern of rebirth. I will search for a creature and put it in play. Okay, so off of the pattern of rebirth, I'm going to get Protein Hulk. And again, we triggered Archivist. Gaining a life and drawing a card. 34. And then uh, once Protein Hulk's in play, I'm going to activate Minsk, targeting Protein Hulk, X equals zero. Oh. Again? Yep. Yeah. So that will die. And uh, I'm going to search. Okay. Off of Protein Hulk, I'm going to get Safi Eric's daughter and Gerard Weatherlight Hero. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that was a search. Yep. So you'll gain another life. And draw another <laughs> 35. Card. And uh, I would like to um, sacrifice Safi, targeting Gerard. You got it. Uh, now I would like to activate Minsk, targeting Gerard, X equals zero. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, Gerard will die. And that will put all artifact and creature cards in my graveyard that would put their, this turn back into play. That is Safi, Protein Hulk, Skyclave Apparition, Tinderwall. Tinderwall. <laughs> And, and Karmic Guide. guide. Uh, Whoa. Karmic Guide will enter. Uh, sorry, Safi triggers because Gerard died. 
Yes. Uh, I will stack. I guess I can stack them. It doesn't super matter. Mm -hmm. But I'll bring these all these back first. Uh, Karmic Guide will trigger, and I'll bring back Destiny Spinner. Sure. Good measure. Uh, then I will uh, bring back Gerard with the Sappy Trigger. Yes. So I'd like to demonstrate a loop. Uh, first, I'm going to activate Minsk X equals zero, targeting Protean Hulk. Uh, actually, I don't even need to loop. I don't need to loop right now. I'm going to activate Minsk uh, X equals zero, targeting Protean Hulk. Off the Protean Hulk, I'm going to get Twin Shot Sniper, uh, and we'll, we won't use the rest of the uh, the stuff. Oh, must be nice. Yeah. So that will enter, and it'll deal two damage to any target. I'm going to deal two damage to Lua. Yeah. <gasps> Pew. Thirty-three. And now I would like to demonstrate a loop. Mm -hmm. I'd like to activate Minsk X equals zero, uh, targeting the Twin Shot Sniper. Uh, that will cause it to die. Yes. Then I'll activate Safi targeting Gerard. Mm -hmm. Then I will activate Minsk, targeting Gerard, X equals zero. It's going to die. It'll bring back Safi and Twin Shot Sniper. And Protean Hulk. And Protean <laughs> Hulk. And then the uh, Safi trigger will resolve, and it'll bring, bring back, back Gerard. Gerard. And we die to the, to the Twin the Shot Sniper. sniper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Ancient else. Tomb myself, just to make it a little bit easier. Oh, I'm going to City of Brass myself, too. Yeah. That's a good game. <laughs> that is yeah. crazy. Whoa. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll play YouTube comments. Uh, what did Skyclave Apparition hit the second time it came in? Uh, it, uh, probably niv uh, uh, Sanctum Prelate. Uh, oh, sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, that was a good game. What a kooky one that was. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. Kidding. That one, um, I, I mentioned it, I think, when we were cut. But um, I kept a, a an unintentionally extremely loose opening hand. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I had a land in it, and it turned out that I didn't. Um, yeah. So if you're wondering why I was sitting there with like a forest and okay. a, yeah, a chrome box <laughs> like and a Lanowar chrome elf. Chrome box and a Lanowar elf. Uh, that is why. That's wild. Yeah. Fair um, cool. Almost got there on Winota damage. Uh, I feel like, you know, the stacks pieces weren't doing anything for you in particular. It, um, it was the wrong ones this game kind of a thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Which is okay. It was doing stuff for Nib, which was like kind of the big monster for most of the game. And yeah, like, I you were doing. I I, everybody I was doing it. a little bit of something. <laughs> yeah. This is a game where it was like you never knew who was in the driver's seat, I feel like. Mm -hmm. um, you just that stupid old person. <laughs> not you. The, <laughs> the, the, the one that I could not kill. In my the own rector. studio I on know. this on this the day of our collaboration I with Scribe know, Babies. I know, but uh, I think I was doing all right. I think we were all doing pretty good. That was a really fun mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. I don't think yeah. there's more that I could have changed. I kept drawing lands, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so I had no interaction. And then, like, even off of the archivist triggers, I was drawing lands and like. A jewel lotus. I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> so there's not much. And Winota also, all of her interaction is pretty much like things on the battlefield. So. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. That was good. I gotta say uh, yeah. that tandem lookout threat you held up for. Yeah. Half a turn. I thought that was uh, really mm -hmm. cute, especially because I had that um, the veil of summer in yeah. hand, and I was like, I, you know, <laughs> I was trying to use it to save my bloom tender because I kind of needed that. And uh, just could not cast it without ending the game. <laughs> yeah, um, there were. Yeah, it was so close that whole time. I had, um, I think, like pre the time twister, maybe or something. I, I had like a misdirection, but no other blue spell. Yeah, for a lot of it. And then I think at some point I maybe it was a force of will, not a misdirection. I don't know, but I I had like just not enough. Mm -hmm. uh, to like protect it, but I oh I thought it was so close. It felt so close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I just I lost too much life. It's I took too much aggro and didn't have enough blockers through yeah. the game. Um, frankly, the fetch counters kind of let me down. Um, I did, there were not a lot of hits, right? I no. mean, but you really messed up a lot of my stuff. You got yeah. some win cons. You got some yeah. stacks pieces. So mm -hmm. like that part is good. You know. Yeah. I think one of the main things is that there wasn't a lot of blue at this table, yeah. right? Normally, when you get fetch counters, you're getting like counter spells yes. and like cantrips and yeah. like card selection, right? All that stuff, but you just like didn't have it. And don't, don't get me wrong, I got plenty of value off mm -hmm. of it. I just yeah. didn't get the right stuff exactly. Yeah. And unfortunately, with uh, Niv Mizzet, I actually was staring at a grip of Gamble, Personal Tutor, Mystical Tutor. Oh, so I, I so bad into oh, Niv Mizzet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the worst part is, is I couldn't really reliably start up the extra turns loop because 
crypt would have murdered me all along. Yeah, yeah. You, you were pretty low. Right? And so uh, between that and the uh, uh, deafening silence, we were just kind of hard stuck for a minute. There. This was yeah, yeah this yeah. was a, like a tough game, but like super interesting to watch what everybody was doing. I like mm -hmm. this a lot. Very mm -hmm. intricate. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, something that's not intricate is going over to face2facegames.com and using code SPIKEFEEDERS to save 5% off your order at checkout. All you gotta do is type that in at the end. It lets them know that we sent you and how you can save a little bit of money. You can also subscribe to either our Patreon for one US dollar a month, get you access to a Discord, access to all three of us, and some fun games with patrons on occasion, or you can pay one US dollar or more to our Patreon on Scry Babies. That's it. We also do a dollar Discord. Uh, I might have seen Spike Peter doing it and said that sounds really cool. And then we also did that. But uh, uh, yeah, we're like trendsetters. We're just trendsetters. <laughs> you have a great. You actually have a really great uh, Patreon. Everything. I think you guys are doing a great job. So that's Maddie. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Shout, Shout out to Maddie. Maddie. Shout out to Maddie. Maddie. Recently resurrected. In any case, though, uh, we thank you so much for your time today. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Like, subscribe. Tell seven of your friends about this. If you don't. I'll be sad. And in the meantime, you have a great day. Huge shout out to all of our Patreon supporters, especially all the folks who have come and check out our new Patreon tiers. That's right, we've completely redesigned the tiers for 2023, so if you want new stuff, interesting stuff, or just want to see your name up on this big board of names, head on over to Patreon. Thank you so much for the support, and have a great day. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window. Or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.